functions in terms of unit step functions. Many functions, especially those with finite number of discontinuities, can be expressed in terms of unit step functions. For example, the rectangular pulse function, where p of t is equal to 0 for t less than a and t greater than b, and is 1 for t between a and b. The graph of this function, as you can see, is 1 between a and b, 0 for t less than a, and 0 for t greater than b. This function p of t can be expressed as a combination of unit step function, which is p of t is equal to u of t minus a minus u of t minus b. Here is the example. The graph of f of t is shown below. We are going to find the expression that express f of t in terms of unit step function. Note that the graph is made up by three pieces of straight line. We are going to figure out the equation of each piece individually. The first piece for t between 0 and 1, you notice that the function is equal to 0. So f of t is equal to 0 for t between 0 and 1. The next piece is for t greater than 2, f of t equal to 2. The most difficult straight line is a straight line for t between 1 and 2. Since we know that this is a straight line, equation of straight line should be y equal to mt plus c. To find out m and c, we need to figure out coordinates of two points. First, we select the point at t equal to 1 f of t equal to 0. Substitute this into the equation. We have 0 equal to m plus c. Then we choose another point, which is when t equal to 2, f of t equal to 2. Substitute this into ft equal to mt plus c, we get 2 equal to 2m plus c. Solving the two simultaneous equation, we will get m equal to 2 and c equal to negative 2. Therefore, the equation of a straight line for t between 1 and 2 is f of t equal to 2t minus 2. So we can write down the equation of f t for this graph. It is f of t equal to 0 for t between 0 and 1, 2t minus 2 for t between 1 and 2, 2 for t greater than 2. Next, we're going to write the formula of ft in a single line in terms of unit step functions. How? We can make use of the rectangular pulse function which I introduced in the beginning. First, for time between 0 and 1, f of t is equal to 0. So we can write f of t as 0 
times the unit step function u of t minus 0 minus u of t minus 1. Then, for t between 1 and 2, the equation is 2t minus 2. So, we can write the second piece as 2t minus 2 times u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 2. And the third piece is ft equal 2 from 2 to infinity. So we can write the equation of third piece as 2 times u of t minus 2 minus u of t minus infinity. However, we know u of t minus infinity is equal to 0. So, f of t will be expressed as 0 times u of t minus 0 minus u of t minus 1 plus 2t minus 2 times u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 2 plus 2 times u of t minus 2. And then, because 0 times any value is 0, therefore, f of t is equal to 2t minus 2 times u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 2 plus 2 times u of t minus 2. Distributing 2t minus 2 in the first bracket, we get 2t minus 2 times u of t minus 1 minus 2t minus 2 times u of t minus 2. Which, if we combine the second term and third term, we get 2t minus 2 times u of t minus 1 plus 2 minus 2t t, u of t minus 2 plus 2 times u of t minus 2 and becomes f of t equal to 2t minus 2 u of t minus 1 plus 4 minus 2t times u of t minus 2. And this is how we express this piecewise function in terms of unit step functions.